What's up guys? So for today I'm going to be talking all about how to keep your guinea pigs happy and just some fun and inexpensive ideas. So let's get started and meet the pigs. For this veggie string, all you need is some twine that you can get from Joann's, Walmart, whatever for probably less than $5, and just some veggies. All I'm doing here is I'm chopping up some carrots, and I'm making a cut halfway through the carrot slice. And now I'm just putting the carrots on the string, and you're good to go. I tied loops on each side of the string and I used binder clips to hang it on the cage. Overall, this is a super fun way to change up your guinea pig's veggie routine and all it took was 5 minutes and as little as $5. Woo! This next idea is what I call a fruit roll up. All you need is a toilet paper roll, a banana, and forage. I got mine from Chewy for six or seven bucks, but you can also get it from Amazon. I linked it down below in the description box if you wanna check it out. So I just cut the tip of the banana and cut the skin off so I have a little handle. This part isn't really necessary, it's just that I didn't wanna get my hands all sticky, but long story short, rub a banana on the toilet paper roll. Now for the last step, roll the sticky toilet paper roll in the forage, preferably making a mess everywhere. Now release the piggies! Winnie, mommy's got you. The second fun idea to keep your guinea pig happy is a fleece forest. All you need is fleece, and I used a grid that I had left over from building their CNC cage. Just cut your fleece into strips and tie them onto the grid, and that's it. Sometimes they look like they're having little secret meetings in there. Alright, next up we got all the Heidi's and beds. It's so important to provide your piggies with variety and that includes different things to sleep in and hide in. These fleece tunnels were completely DIY and all you need is fleece, cotton fabric, batting, and a sewing machine. And I'm not an expert sewer by any means and it wasn't too hard for me so I think you could do it too. I hate buying things that I know I can DIY for a lot cheaper, so if you have a sewing machine, I definitely recommend making it yourself. That way you can really customize the colors and patterns you want to. Pop quiz! How many times are my guinea pigs going to run through these tunnels? Alright, I love this next one. If you're not really crafty or not feeling any of the DIYs, we're all guilty of shopping on Amazon a little too much or maybe a lot. Just cut some holes in the packaging and stick a box in there. And next time your spouse or your mom or your dad confront you about your spending, just say your guinea pig's happiness depended on it. Here's another one that's really easy and inexpensive. I just folded a baby blanket in half, then stuck a willow bridge inside, and the pigs explore this for so long. Another fun 
one bed my guinea pigs love is this small dog bed. I got this one from Yes Amazon and I bought it for less than 10 bucks. Everything in this video will be linked in the description box below if you want to check it out. Piggies love anything soft and squishy, so be creative. Branch out of the guinea pig category because there are so many different beds and toys that are categorized for dogs, cats, and rabbits and whatnot that would actually be perfect for your guinea pig. So just make sure it's actually okay for guinea pigs though. <laughs> cups are also amazing both are pretty cheap usually around ten dollars but you can also DIY these guys it is the cutest thing to see your guinea pig all snuggled up in a hammock definitely a must if you have guinea pigs plus who doesn't love a good hammock Number three is the snuffle mat. I made this snuffle mat with fleece only, no rubber mat required. I'll show you guys how I made this in a separate video. So my pigs love to walk around all over this and they're always sleeping on it. I don't like to hide treats in there just cause I don't wanna encourage them to bite the fleece. So my last idea to enrich your guinea pig's life are to add ramps and levels. Just a little disclaimer, these are just some guidelines on size requirements for your cage based on the first level. It's really important to make sure your pig has enough space on the first floor before making multiple floors. I used to have a single floor cage and I felt really restricted because there wasn't enough space to do all the fun things I wanted to do for them. So I made a little loft and a second floor for them using grids and coroplast. And I noticed the biggest difference. They started to run around more, weaking more, just overall more active and happy. And your guinea pigs will be so appreciative if you give them lots of space. So adding ramps and levels will really spice up your guinea pigs' lives. so much for watching make sure to like this video if you found it helpful and comment down below what you do to make sure your guinea pigs are happy and let me know if you tried any of these ideas i would love to know see you guys in the next video